up. Junpei kun, Koro chan. Well, I guess I can see what's going on. No matter who our opponent is, I won't let them have my sister's... I guess is key. <laughs> I know, I know. It's cool. But you know, no matter which way this turns out, I just don't think Igus can win against Yucatan right now. Sorry. Then again, I don't think Yucatan's got it right either. Even if we go back to before the final battle, if we're still squabbling like this, I don't know, do you really see us being able to pull off a miracle and do things better than he could? Me? I think this is something we gotta take care of on our own. Junpei kun. I'm not as much of a hard ass as Akihiko san, but I don't think. Still, some things you just can't work out by talking about them. If neither side will give an inch, well, sometimes that's how things are gonna be. Right, little sis? Junpei san. Alrighty then. Let's get it on. You better not throw this fight! Get ready, cause here I come! Don't we have any choice but to fight? Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Understood. I need your help! Thank you. 
pretty tough, I chan But you're not the only one. Persona! I never thought I'd be on the receiving end of your gadgets again. Nice try! <laughs> Alright, sister. Let's get... This ain't good. I better go all out! Junpei-kun, Koro-chan. All of us, we were searching for the same thing. Our bonds were so strong, and yet... The next battle will be the last one. If we win, there will be no one left who can take your key. Is this... right? I can't stand it any longer. This is wrong. I can't accept either meddling with the past, or proceeding blindly in the present. It scares me, too, to think about dying. But does that justify hurting the ones who are precious to you? Uh... If this has to continue, I'm not going to be part of it. I'll end all this by giving my key to Yukari-san and Mitsuru-san. No! You can't do that or you'll... We don't know for sure whether or not that will happen. And I won't accept your input on this. It's my decision. Wait! Don't go! I... had a premonition! I wasn't hiding who I am. I really don't know anything about myself. About a month ago, I woke up here, all alone. You asked me about when I discovered my emotions. But I don't have any memories. I only knew two things when I woke up. First, that I had a sister somewhere in the world who understood me. And second, a strong premonition that if I didn't do something, that sister would die soon. First I thought it would happen because of the abyss of time, but that wasn't it. I understand now. The power you've gained comes at the cost of your death. The cost of my death. The answer... I went to see you so I could save you. But I ended up causing the power to awaken. That's why I made up my mind. I'd do anything to protect you. Even... Even if it meant you'd hate me for it. You're all I have in the world. Metis. There was a time when I felt the same way about someone. But I still can't hurt the people who gave me my heart. Even if the end result of this power is death. If you're not gonna give in, you still don't need to throw your life away. If you end up losing your key, I'll give you my life. 
I don't want you to die and leave me behind. I'd rather give my life, be alone. That way, I can always stay with you. What are you saying? Please don't leave me behind! <laughs> Metis. <sighs> it's okay. I'm sorry. I won't leave you. <laughs> I thought I knew all too well the pain of being left behind. You show me so many things that I'd let myself forget. I guess... Because our bonds are so strong, there's no solution to this where no one gets hurt. There's no easy way out. If I gave up without making a decision, I'd be running away from the pain my friends must still face. I think... I was running away from life again. I need to make a choice. I care about him as much as anyone else. Fuka-san, there's something I want you to hear. Huh? You too, Metis.